I actually am surprised by how. Hey guys, this is JP's Lego Reviews. Today, I want to review the Lego Star Wars Luke Skywalker buildable helmet. Now, this set is rated for those aged 18 and up. The set number on this set is 75327, and the piece count on this set is 675 pieces. So, let's break it down. So, here is the set itself. Now, this set is a very interesting Lego helmet build because there's no face. There's no sort of helmet real structure, if that kind of makes sense. Like, it's not really a full build. It's literally just Luke Skywalker's helmet and not his head, which I find to be an interesting decision. But now seeing it built, it actually, I believe, was the right decision. Now, as you can see, it's a very polarizing set with the color choices. Like, this set has uses great uses of contrast, just like in Luke Skywalker's helmet build to really convey a sense of detail. Now, I really like the color choices that they used in the Lego set. Now, obviously, this set looks really good for what it is, and that's actually a really surprising thing for me to say because I never really thought too highly of a set. I always found it a bit strange. But now I have it, I actually am quite happy with it. And there's a few details I want to go through. So firstly, you can raise or lower the, the glasses portion of the helmet. You can also adjust the microphone portion of the helmet, swaying it like so. And then you also have the... Um, the, the bit that straps onto Luke's neck as well. And you can shift it in quite a few different angles and you can really just move it around quite a bit. Now, this set does use quite a lot of stickers and the one sort of complaint that I have about this set, now it looks really good for what it is, but the one complaint I do have about this set are these sort of plastic strips. Now, what I don't like about it is that you can't really shape it to the way you want it. And so they're either gonna bend in towards the the um, red strip here, or if you push it further enough, you'll get, get it so that basically they pop really far out. You can't really position this perfectly straight, which is something that is a bit bothersome about this set. But other than that, it looks really good. Now, let's move on to the instruction manual. And here is the instruction manual. Here you have a QR code, and it's relatively plain. You actually get a bit of information, a little bit of information regarding Luke Skywalker's helmet, which is quite interesting. But unlike the play sets for 2022, there's no progress bar on the bottom, which I do find quite interesting. And it's not really a super eventful sort of manual because once you're finished it just sh shows you the pieces and then it just shows you the back it's a very simple manual but let's move on to my final thoughts so what are my final thoughts on this set i actually am surprised by how so what are my final thoughts on this set interesting this set is to build and i actually really like the way that this set looks and the the only thing I would complain about this set though, actually no, there are two things I would complain about it. The first thing is value proposition. In Australia, this set costs 100 Australian dollars or I believe 60 US dollars. So in our market, the price has actually increased a little bit, which isn't something I'm too much of a fan of. And if you wanna get this set, I definitely recommend you getting it at a lower price. But what bothers me more, and it's not even the sticker usage, I find that okay it shouldn't really be there but it's okay actually i do want to complain about the stickers that are here though that are i'll just bring it closer to you are on the earpiece just because it if you get it a bit wrong it kind of does take away from the look and it is a piece that lego can easily print put a print instead of you having to add a sticker but what I don't like about the set is the 
yellow rods that I talked about before. Now, due to the way that they bend and the way that they just happen to be, they just bend either inwards or outwards. And I found it, re and I couldn't get it to be completely straight at all. Now, that isn't something that really should be bothersome, but also this is an 18 plus. Like I said, it's intended for display. And Lego haven't really made it easy for you to display this. And what they could have done instead is they could have added maybe a one by one clip piece that's the thinness of the tile where you can add it and then you can attach the clip part somewhere in the middle so it looks completely straight. Or they could have done just something different with it entirely. And for that reason, and it does bother me to say this, I'm giving this set four and a half stars just because it looks so good and it's so close to actually being a perfect set, but there are a few little things that you should be completely aware of. And all I want to say is, if you plan on getting a LEGO helmet set, I actually recommend getting the Scout Trooper set first. And the reason why I recommend that set first is because it's more complete of a helmet experience and it just looks a bit better than this one. But if you want something really different from your LEGO Star Wars helmet, this is the only set that you should really consider. And those are my thoughts. Now, let me know down below what you think of this set and do you own it and are you happy with it? Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button. If you want to see more content just like this, then please subscribe. And I hope you all have a fantastic day and keep building. Mm -hmm.